what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's been a long time today we're going to go over how you can make tons and tons of stubs in mlb the show 22. let's get right into the breakdown if you're looking for a super super fun and easy way to earn extra money follow me on underdog fantasy and use code fat dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks all you got to do is come in here make one dollar bets two dollar bets three dollar bets it don't matter choose your players come over to the right put the amount in one dollar bet you have a chance to win three dollars back i will be giving you guys free picks Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. All right, so the first card we're going to go after is the 78 overall Jose Abrera, okay? So over the past 15 games, he has 16 hits and he has three home runs and six RBIs coming in at a 400 batting average. Now, right now, over the past 15 days, he also only has six strikeout so that right there is enough to show that he's consistent he is hitting with a little bit of power six rbis three home runs 16 hits okay so if he can show that consistency for one to two more games right before the cutoff with the 400 betting average he has a chance to definitely in a 70 percent range get a plus two and go to the gold tier you getting him right now for 400 stubs will give you an automatic 600 to 700 stub profit on each and every investment. As I always say, go give yourself 25 to 50 of these cards and you will turn around. If you get yourself 25 to 50 of these and you spend about 12 to 20,000 stubs, you will turn around and be able to sell this same card in the next week, next week and a half, depending on the hype and the value. If you spend 20,000 on him and you get as many cards as I tell you, you can turn around and sell him for about 80 to 85,000 stubs. That's going to be an easy 50 to 60,000 stub flip on a small investment. That's one card you're going to always want four to five investments. That's going to be the quickest way to make 300 to 500,000 stubs. Now, another card is the 78 overall Austin Riley. He's at 570 stubs. He should be priced way higher than this. If I was you, I'd be putting in as many orders as 500 stubs or just go here and buy these cards right here because the way that he's been playing over the past month and a half, right now we're going to look at his past 15 day stats. But over the past 15 days, he's coming in at a 373. Not the worst, not the greatest, but he's very consistent. Over 15 days, he has 22 hits, four doubles, and a triple. He also has 13 RBIs and six home runs. Now, if you look over the past 15 days, over the past 15 days, he is also tied in first place with the most home runs behind Pete Alonzo, Mookie Betts, Paul Goldsmith, and Aaron Judd. You will see him go up in this roster update. And you will start to see him trending even more in the next couple roster updates. So being that you're able to get him very, very cheap right now, your stub potential is unlimited. You can easily make about a 3,000 stub profit on each and every one of these. If I was you, I would get 50 of these Austin Rileys and forget about them. Once he gets up to that 83 overall range, 84 overall range, you're going to be making about a 3,000 profit on each and every single one of them. If you make that initial investment on him right now and he goes up to at least an 83 overall, that's going to be closer with the hype up to a 3,000 stub card. Okay, so that's going to be about a 22 to 2,400 stub profit off of hype over the next two roster updates. If you go get yourself 50 of them, leave them in the binder, forget about them. Over the next two roster updates, you come back into the binder the day before the roster update, you see the hype on the card, you're going to spend 40, 45,000 on all your cards. You're going to turn around and make 200,000 or more profit off of this Austin Riley. He's not going to slow down anytime soon. Drop a thumbs up on the video. I don't want to drag the videos out too long. There's going to be a lot of y'all asking me questions about what about this card? What about this card? It's a lot of cards that have potential to get upgraded and there's a lot of cards that are guaranteed to get upgraded. 
can't put them all into one video so make sure that you are subscribed i'll be back tomorrow with another stub making opportunity especially the exchanges let's go